Hey friends, welcome back. The next DP problem that we're gonna discuss is longest decreasing subsequence. Subsequence is a subset of any sequence where elements are in same sequence and can be non-contagious. In longest decreasing subsequence, we need to find the length of that longest subsequence from the given sequence in which elements are in decreasing sorted order that is from highest to lowest and yes, elements need not to be contagious or unique. For example, you have an array and to find decreasing subsequence, you check it like the first element is 20. Then you check if next element is smaller than 20. Yes, then find the next element which is smaller than 8, which is 7. So first decreasing subsequence will be 20, 8, 7, which is of length 3. Similarly, we need to find the other possible decreasing subsequence for this which would be 20, then 12, then 10, then 9, then 7. So this subsequence will be of length 5. Similarly next, 20, 16, 10, 9, 7, which is of length 5 again. In this way, you may find other sequences like 20, 10, 9, 7, 20, 9, 7, 20, 18, 7, and many more. But the longest subsequence will be these two, which are of length 5. So the LDS length for this sequence will be 5. Now, when we understood the problem, let's see how can we solve it. If you see here, we are looking for every possible combination of sequence. For example, for 20, first you go with 28, 7, then you check for remaining array from 12 to 7. Then you again check for the remaining array. Once you are done with calculating the length for every subsequence for it, you choose the max value and return. So clearly this problem can be divided into subproblems. We will calculate LDS for every possible subsequence that are contagious. And in order to calculate LDS length for subsequences, we have two choices. Either we include the particular element or we don't include the element in decreasing subsequence. If the element is smaller than previous element that is included in LDS, then we can include the element. Then we calculate LDS obtained by including the element and we also calculate LDS obtained by not including the element. And we figure out with which choice we can maximize the LDS length. Like if you are at position 4, then you check if you can include the fourth element by comparing it to the previous element. Suppose that is 16. 10 is less than 16, so we may include this element and proceed further to calculate LDS. We will compare 9 with 10. It can be included. Then we compare 18 with 9. It cannot be included. So we exclude 18 and compare the next element 7 with previous element 9 in decreasing subsequence. Proceeding further, now we have no elements left to compute on. That's the base condition. We return 0 as array having no elements will have 0 length of LDS, right? So we compute LDS by including and excluding elements like this. 7 can be included, so we add 1 with remaining elements LDS, which is 0, and if we exclude 7, then LDS will be 0. So 1 is the max length, so we return 1 here. 18 cannot be included, so LDS remains 1 here. 9 can be included, so we add 1 with the LDS length of remaining elements, which is 1, so it becomes 2. And if we exclude the element 9, then it remains 1. So we return 2 here. Similarly, for 10, it will be 3. 
In this way, we get max LDS length at the end, which is 5. So what is the recurrence relation here? Max LDS length at any position i is the maximum value of LDS calculated when we include the ith element and exclude the ith element. Where we can include the ith element only when it is less than previous most element in decreasing subsequence.